guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Get Ready With Me style video. This is the look I wore to a Taylor Swift concert the other weekend in Toronto. And I just wanted to film it while I was getting ready for this concert. So this is centered around the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. I actually wasn't planning on picking this palette up, but you guys kept telling me I needed it. So it's your fault that I bought it, but I absolutely love it. It's so great. And for the price you get, a lot of eyeshadows for the price it is so definitely worth your money and worth checking out if you haven't picked this palette up yet and I found that the eyeshadows were really pigmented easy to blend and I just loved working with it so thank you guys for telling me that I needed it anyways back to the makeup look so far I've just done my pre makeup skincare type of thing which I usually do and next I'm going to clean up my brows and I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 and I'm using this below and on top of my brows just to clean them up a little bit more. For my base I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just applying this all over my lid up to my brow. This is just going to act as a base for my eyeshadows and just help them last longer. For this look, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. The first shade I'm using is Morocco. So this is just a really nice warm toned shade that I'm using as my transition color and just applying that generously in my crease and blending in between each application. For my lid shade, I'm using the color Spoiled, and it does have a lot of shimmer and glitter in it, so I'm just packing it on my lid to avoid any fallout. My next shade I'm using is Fudge. It's just a really deep chocolatey color, and I'm putting that in my outer corner. So I'm really accentuating that outer corner and deepening it up quite a bit. Each time I go back and apply color, I'm going to make sure I go back and also blend it out. To deepen the look up even more, make it more smoky, I'm going in with the black shade in the palette which is called Noir and I'm putting that in the outer V and bringing along the lash line as well. For winged liner, of course, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Does that surprise you? I don't think so by this point. It's all I use. So I'm just using that to create my winged liner and then I'm going in and cleaning up any fallout. I did have a little bit of fallout from that spoiled shade. The glitter particles were a little bit underneath my eyes. So I did have to go in with a makeup wipe and clean that up. Now for the face, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Face Primer and I'm just pressing this into my skin where I have visible pores and then just smoothing it outwards. For foundation, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. It was raining this particular day so that's why I went with the waterproof formula and it lives up to its claim. I put it to the test in a first impression so I will link it in this video in case you want to see that but it is waterproof. Now I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer just to cover up any blemishes. Had a nice big old one on my nose so I had to cover that up and then just blending it out with a beauty blender. If you can tell I'm making everything really long wearing for this makeup look because I had to apply my makeup quite early and it was a long evening. So now I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, blending that out with a beauty blender and then I'm going to spray my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And usually I do this only at the end but I really wanted to make sure this stayed in place and I'm pressing it in with a beauty blender which really helps your foundation to stay in place. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder, the translucent setting powder and applying this heavily underneath my eyes. I'm going to let it sit there and bake and then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lashes and apply some falsies. Now 
Now that my lashes are on, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe away any excess powder that was remaining from my baking concealer. And then I'm going to go in with Benefit Hula Bronzer and this new brush I got from Tarte the other day. I was at Fairview Park Mall and I picked this up at the Sephora and I'm absolutely loving this brush. If you saw one of my previous tutorials, you saw my little mishap with my NARS Eda brush. So I wanted to get something that was similar to that, that didn't have that garbage handle on it. <laughs> and now I'm using Makeup Geek Smitten Blush on my cheeks. I will go back and add some more uh, blush to my cheeks later on in the video because I wasn't feeling the color so much. I wanted something more to my cheek. But for now, I'm just leaving it like that and I'm using ColourPop Lunch Money as my highlight and I'm using a beauty blender to apply it. Best way to apply those highlighters from ColourPop in my opinion. And I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm just doing that right now with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And to highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood and this brush from Morphe. And then I'm just applying it underneath my brows as well, cheekbones, nose, and Cupid's bow. For lips, I heard that Taylor Swift actually uses MAC Ruby Woo, so I'm going ahead and using MAC Riri Woo, which is basically the same thing. It was limited edition though, but just go ahead and use Ruby Roo Woo <laughs> if you have that. And I'm using the corresponding lipstick as well. Now this is where I'm going back and finishing off my cheeks. I wanted it to be a little bit more glowy, a little bit more brown tone, so I'm applying this warm sole to my cheeks, just one of my favorite go-to blushes to complete the look. And now I'm finishing off my under eyes. I'm just using that fudge color, and then I'm going in with the black shade noir and putting that on the very outer corner. Now I'm using MAC Nylon for my inner corner highlight. Looking back, I probably would have just went ahead and used Anastasia's So Hollywood. It would have done the same thing, but I just went ahead and used this because it's one of my favorite shadows. Finishing off the look with some setting spray, and then after I was done my hair, I decided I wanted to put some black liner in my waterline. So I'm doing that right now, and this is the completed look. Super dramatic, perfect for fall, very warm tone. Love the red lips, one of my favorite shades. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.